All right, everybody. I want to be upfront about something, okay? Now, a lot of you may be wondering, why is Chris making all these YouTube videos? What's the catch? What is he trying to do? Is he trying to sell me some stupid product to make a ton of money off of me? Is he trying to exploit me like all financial advisors do? That's not true. I'm gonna tell you exactly why I'm doing this and how it's going to benefit you more than any financial advisor that you could possibly invest with, okay? Now, the first thing I wanna talk about is myself. Who am I? Well, I'm a man who's lived a very fruitful life, okay? I was born in California and I moved around the world because my father was in the military. After I graduated high school, I went to college and got a history degree and then joined the United States Army as a heroic, sexy, delicious infantry officer, okay? I did five years in the Army and that whole time I lived significantly below my means, okay? I always knew that I loved personal finance. It was my thing, okay? Some people like sports ball, because you know that's really a valuable way to spend your time. Some people like knitting, that's better than sports ball. Some people like personal finance. Personal finance and numbers is my passion. Now, when I was in the army, I lived well below my means, and I ignored all financial advisors and their terrible advice. Instead, I followed the Vanguard and Boglehead philosophy, which I'm going to talk about more later, okay? But basically, all you have to do is invest in tax advantage accounts into low-cost, highly diversified mutual funds consistently, and over time, you'll build massive wealth without getting screwed out of hundreds of thousands of dollars by a financial advisor who doesn't know crap, okay? We'll talk about Bogleheads more later, but the whole point is, I never made a ton of money, okay? And even when I was making a lot of money in the military, I still lived well below my means. And that allowed me to invest a large percentage of my paycheck for my retirement. And you may not believe this, this may not click with you, but if you invest consistently, even just a couple hundred dollars a month, you can build significant wealth, all right? The only issue is if you invest through a financial advisor who charges you extremely high fees. Those fees will significantly reduce the overall return of your portfolio. You don't wanna go through those guys. You wanna have a basic understanding of personal finance, like I did, like I do, after reading a couple books or watching a couple of YouTube channels, and then saving yourself hundreds of thousands of dollars by doing it yourself, okay? It really is easy. It is so easy to save money. All you have to do is dedicate yourself to it, okay? Anyway, so I got out of the military and I moved to Germany, long story, and then I came back and I was lost. I was out of the military, I didn't have a freaking job, and I started studying accounting, which, you know, I thought accounting was just dumb and there's no careers in accounting besides bookkeeping. Well, it turns out accounting is a great career and it actually equips you with a lot of knowledge that helps you really understand why low cost, low fee index fund investing is good, okay? And I learned a lot as an accountant. And eventually I took my CPA exam, which is a four part exam to become a certified public accountant. And I passed all those. And now I have a full time job in the government accounting sector, okay? Now am I tooting my own horn? No, I'm not. Am I successful because I got a job in the government sector as an accountant and I'm a CPA? No, your success is not based on your job title or what position you have or what status you have or how big your house is. Financial success, plain and simple, is based on how much money you've accumulated and how long you can live off of that money without ever working again, okay? Think about it. Would you rather be somebody that makes $200,000 a year but has an expensive lifestyle that they constantly have to maintain. You know, imagine the stress of that. That must suck. Or you can make half of that, save half your income, and know that if you lost your job, you could retire and not have to worry about money ever again. 
You want to be the person that doesn't have to worry about money. You can fund your kids' retirements. You can fund your, or no, correction, your kids' college. You could fund your retirement. You could have savings set aside so you never have to worry if your car breaks down. You could have insurance to protect your family if you die. There's so much that you can do that'll make your life so much easier if you just do basic personal finance principles, okay? But you wanna avoid financial advisors. Now, the whole point of this YouTube video and the whole point of this channel is I wanna make freaking money, okay? Yes, I'm a greedy man. I want showers of dollar bills raining on my head. I wanna be rich, I want it. But guess what? I have no incentive to sell you crap products because I am not a financial advisor, because you are not paying me. You are not paying me. Advertising is going to pay me if my YouTube channel ever takes off, okay? Here's how it works. When you start a YouTube channel, once you get a thousand subscribers and a certain amount of watch hours, you can monetize your channel. And what that means is, every time that somebody watches an advertisement for a certain amount of time on your channel, the company will pay the YouTuber a small commission for giving them advertising space, okay? That's how it, that's all it is. That's how YouTubers make money. They don't make money by selling you whole life insurance or selling you loaded mutual funds or charging you a 1% asset management fee like freaking financial advisors do, okay? Does that make sense? I wanna make money, yes, but I have no incentive to sell you BS. My only incentive is to de de deliver real value to you. I want you to truly understand how to build wealth and it won't cost you a freaking dime. And if I get rich in the process, that's great. If I don't, you still got good knowledge, okay? So, in conclusion, I want you to like my Facebook page. It's called Strong Man Personal Finance. I want you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I make new videos all the freaking time, okay? I want you to like every video that you watch that you actually enjoy. Because when you like the video, it promotes my video on the YouTube algorithm, which allows more people to see my videos and allows my channel to grow, okay? Does that make sense? I hope you guys watch this through the end. And if you did, you are a true fan and I value you, okay? You guys have a wonderful day.